Alright guys, back with another video. It's been an extremely long time. I don't know. It feels like it's been well over a year, but it's actually, it's been about 10 months or so, I'd say. The Red Jetta is gone. I sold it. And that was the last video I made. Um, was with the Red Jetta. I think it was Plasti Dipped um, at that time, the Army Green. I ended up peeling that off, and it just started, things just started going downhill with it. Transmission problems, electrical problems, um, suspension problems which I could have fixed and I could have swapped the transmissions, but I just kind of had enough of it. So we ended up getting this. So Lagoon Blue 2001 Jetta 1.8 turbo, five speed. Picked this up in Iowa. I drove about three hours north to go get it. Um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty satisfied with it so far. It's been good to me. I only had one problem with the vacuum hose, which is like $3 a pick and pull. So yeah, I guess I'll kind of give you a little walk around. I'll probably post a picture of what it looked like the day I got it. And now I'll show you what all else has been done to it. We got, um, here are the old center caps that came with the car. None of them had a VW logo. A friend from Florida sent me ones. Right hand drive, GLI swap on it. And he's getting rid of these wheels. So he decided to send me the center caps. So shout out to him. Um, clear side marker lights. It's got new headlight lenses, which these did come with the car. But still, I mean, they're, they were brand new because they did it as soon as they sold the car, they put those in. Um, got the Thule roof rack, which this thing's, this was on the Red Jet and it's seen better days, but for how much I paid for it, you couldn't really beat it. You got stubby antenna on the back. Um, this spoiler. I just got for Christmas. I guess it'd be a ducktail wing, I guess. I don't know, it's just a short little wing I got from ECS Tuning. I also got the antenna for Christmas. And this should be it for the outside. So I'll take a look at the engine bay. So all we've got in here, um, all the stickers that were on my Red Jetta, just took them off and put them in here. We got the, uh, Black washer fluid cap, the black and gold coolant cap, and the black and gold uh, oil cap. This is extremely dirty, so I don't mind it. I just don't feel like cleaning it. I think what I'm going to do is, because this is a different engine code, it's not AWP, I think I'm going to get a valve cover for an AWP car and then just get the uh, regular coil packs that are on Bolton. Because um, this is the one that makes uh, less horsepower because it's an earlier model. Um, Really, we just got this cold air intake. It goes down to the fender well. And then we got the little uh, diverter valve forged 007. Um, I got this from a friend for free, so shout out to you, Casey. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Meet the hood. Oh, I will mention that. Um, I got a three inch uh, down pipe that's gonna go in. I don't have it in now, but I'm gonna put it in, take it to an exhaust shop, and I'm gonna get a three inch. Exhaust all the way through. So that's it for the engine. And now for the part of the car it's actually worth talking about. Um, I don't know if I have any pictures of this car with a tan interior, but this whole interior was tan whenever I got it. Um, so now what I've done is I took the GLI aluminum trim out of the Red Jetta, put it in here. Um, so I took the black uh, Wolfsburg interior out of my Red Jetta and swapped it in here, and put the tan in the red one before I sold it. So we got the black Jetta Monster Mass, obviously the aluminum trim, um, a GLI e-brake handle, uh, a late model gauge cluster, a GLI uh, light switch, black headliner and everything, and all the black pieces that go with it and the story behind this was I actually found a geolite at the junkyard and I believe I was the first person to grab it and so I have uh, I literally grabbed the whole interior from it these are GLI seats obviously and I decided to put these in instead of my Wolfsburg ones but for what I think $115 or whatever I paid for them they're in amazing shape Um, so yeah, it's, oh yeah, also I got, um, an LED light kit, I 
got that for Christmas and it came with lights for the trunk, glove box, and all the ones in here. And then also the uh, the floodlights on the door cards. And it doesn't, the floodlight doesn't work on this uh, door because the door lock module, it's either dirty or it's just broken or something. So I'm just gonna order a new one of those. I know it looks like it's on, it's just a flash on my camera. But I'm ordering a new one of those to replace it because it doesn't oh man because it doesn't register that the car door is open and sometimes it just locks and unlocks by itself and then one of my favorite parts is this this little Volkswagen keychain uh, it's like a little glass that has a Volkswagen logo in it and the cool thing about this this logo actually uh, glows whenever you twist the knob it has little batteries in there so it's pretty cool I was going to put it on my keychain, but I felt like I was going to break it, so I decided against that. This isn't going to be too long of a video, as um, this is being recorded on my phone. Like For some reason, it won't let me take the videos on my phone onto my computer, because it says the files are not, they're not compatible to computers. So I'm just going to edit this on my phone. I don't know, I'll make another video later, uh, a bit more detail-oriented. But over here, got nothing much except for just Mark 1 parts. And these go to my truck, which I don't have at the moment as we are restoring it and i need uh whenever we're out there working on it right now i have the whole engine and transmission taken apart not the, the transmission but the whole engine's taken apart blocking the head we're at a machine shop i got a friend helping me uh he's teaching me the ropes and we're gonna put it back together but i got tons of parts for the truck the, you know gas tank the uh, spare tire holder that goes underneath uh, brake calipers and discs and windows and just a bunch of other random stuff. These are all just small little parts, two different sets of wheels, fender. Um, actually, the one part you probably see in this fender and thinking why is there. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is this. Yeah. It's, the other side is not like this at all, which is pretty weird. I guess somebody cleaned out that side, but this side is just, it's just gone. I'm gonna have to have one of my friends weld in a new rocker panel. And this fender is a replacement. It came down from Florida, so it's perfect. Nothing wrong with it. This one's just gone. And the rocker's, I mean, there's nothing there. Nothing left. It's going to be an expensive job, and it probably isn't even worth it. It's welded a new rocker and just a base model car, but I'm going to do it anyway. So, um, so yeah, that's basically it. And like I said, it's just going to be a short little update video on basically the red Jetta, this new Jetta, and then I'll have to make a whole separate video about the truck because there's so much to talk about that. Because I haven't even mentioned anything about that on this channel at all, even though I got it over the summer. The beginning of the summer, actually. And also, uh, I was going to make a video on me redoing my headliner and ins how to install those LED lights. But the LED lights are pretty straightforward. It's not that hard at all. Um, and plus, all the footage for the headliner and LED lights, it just completely scrambled. Like, all the videos were out of order and it was just too much of a mess to... And it was like 20 minutes worth of footage and I was like, you know, I'm just going to make a short video and then I'll make a longer detailed video whenever I get the GoPro set up. So that should be it. Like, comment, subscribe.